dun, dun, dun. What are we doing? We're doing number nine. We're integrating cosine of 2t, whoop, to the four. Sure. Then what? We're using a reduction formula, because we rewrite that as the cosine squared squared. The reduction, one plus cosine, double the argument 4t, divided by two squared. There's a dt on that. What were we using? We were using that the cosine of theta is one plus the cosine of two theta divided by two. Oh. So, we're gonna multiply that out using a perfect square. That's how I got that one plus two cosine four t plus cosine squared four t divided by four, because two squared is four. The, yeah, a quotient raised to a power is the fraction squared. Then, bam, use it one more time. I took that cosine 2, cosine squared 4t, and made it 1 plus cosine 8t divided by 2. Then, we add fractions. That's where the 2 came from. That's where the 4 came from. And then I have that 1 plus cosine 8t, double the denominator, because we're adding fractions. Now we see 1 and 2, call it 3. And then I'm going to take it to the top. I pull a 1 8 out, and I'm integrating. 3 becomes 3t. The, the, the antiderivative for cosine is sine. Then, then, I divide by that augmented argument. That's why my 4 went away in front of that cosine. Then, I have a 1 8 sine 8t. Yeah, fundamental theorem of calculus in full effect. We go and we plug pi in everywhere we see a t. Then we subtract off everything when we evaluate it at zero and then the sine of pi is zero so the sine of four pi is also zero same with sine of eight pi that's zero then the sine of zeros is zero and we get three eighths just like the back of the book says box and flower